Hello, I'm attorney Todd Lenive. Welcome to West Virginia Gun Law. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you about no gun signs that you might encounter in businesses in the state of West Virginia and what your legal rights are with respect to Second Amendment in those locations. Stick around. We've all seen these signs when we go about our daily business, uh, you know, in shopping centers, in convenience stores, restaurants, gas stations, movie theaters, private businesses, where folks who are anti-Second Amendment make their stance clear by putting signs out that say, no firearms allowed, no guns allowed, guns prohibited, things like that. And so what I wanted to do today was take a little time and talk with you about what your Second Amendment rights are if you find yourself dealing with that kind of a business location on private property. So West Virginia Code 61-7-14 explains certain limitations on where firearms can be present among other sections within the code, but this section in particular talks about private property locations. And those private property locations are the kinds of things that I just identified. Uh, basically, anywhere that you might be able to go, uh, whether it's a business or a private home, that's owned by a person as opposed to owned by a government entity of some sort. So the illustration here basically says that the owner, the lessee, or any person who's charged with the care, custody, or control of that premises has the right to limit the presence of firearms on that premises if they choose to do so. The easiest example that I can give is if you go to the home of a friend who doesn't like firearms and notices that you're carrying, says, hey, Todd, uh, we don't like guns in our home and we'd rather you leave that out in your vehicle or tell you what, why don't you come back another time when you don't have your firearm with you? Well, first off, I need to get a new friend. <laughs> That's not the kind of person I want to personally hang out with. But if I choose to stay there and visit, then I need to respect their wishes because they are the owner of that private property. Same thing applies to a business location. Uh, again, any of these things that we've talked about, if for some reason they choose not to permit firearms in that business, they have the right to do so. And what the law says on that issue is that it's not a crime to carry a firearm into those types of private locations, even though the people may not want them present. And so what do we mean by that? Well, the simple practical application is that for everyday concealed carry, you can go ahead and practice good deed concealment and go into those locations. And as long as nobody there notices that you have a concealed firearm on you, you're not breaking the law by being present in that location where they otherwise don't want firearms to be present. Now, if somebody would in fact notice that you have a concealed firearm, first off, you're not very good at concealment and you need to go back to square one and relearn the process. But if they would happen to notice that you have that firearm, they are within their legal rights to ask you to either disarm or to leave the premises altogether. If you fail to do so, then the police could be called and you could be charged with a crime uh, that carries a penalty of up to six months in jail, a fine of up to a thousand dollars, or both jail and a fine. It's essentially a trespassing charge. It's not a charge, it's not a crime because you brought that gun in in the first place. And it's not a crime because you had the gun present on the premises. It's a crime merely because you refused a lawful directive to leave that premises where the person didn't want firearms present and you had one present and refused their directive to get out of the place. 
Another key thing I want to make sure you understand here in West Virginia is that for a private property premises to prohibit the presence of firearms, they don't have to have a sign up. They do not have to have a sign out somewhere on the premises that says no firearms allowed. It could simply be their policy and if, again, they notice you have a firearm concealed on you, they can say, hey, we don't allow that here. You don't have the ability to argue, as you do in some states, you failed to post your premises, so I am okay to have my gun here. That's not the way our law works. They don't have to post it, and they can still enforce that prohibition on firearms. Now, there are certain locations in the state that expressly prohibit the presence of firearms by state code. And if you take a firearm into those locations, then you run the risk of being criminally prosecuted for an actual gun crime for having brought that firearm into the premises in the first place. And a list of those places is here on the screen, so you can see what I'm talking about and you'll have a better idea of those locations. And we'll talk more about some of those locations in future videos. So if you have questions about the topic, please feel free to get in touch. The contact information to reach me is available through the websites that are linked in the description below. And I'll be happy to speak with you if you've got specific questions on these topics. I do plan to do some more videos related to these specific areas that are protected by state law against the presence of firearms. And we'll do those in the future. And uh, just keep an eye out for those when they release. And you'll get a better idea of the big picture here uh, on why those areas are protected and how they're protected. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed the new uh, layout here. Decided to change location that I'm shooting the videos. And uh, it's a little bit easier for me to set things up and have, uh, have everything ready to go. And uh, hopefully you don't mind the, uh, the change in the background. If you haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to the channel and share the channel with others. I'd like to get more people on here and uh, be able to get the message out more broadly hit the like button for this video, share this particular video. If you know anybody who may have questions about it, or maybe you've had conversations with in the past, and let's get some information out there that's hopefully helpful to more folks than just our immediate viewing audience. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and be safe.